All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to BackstageCon. This is our fourth BackstageCon, uh, three in North America and one in Europe. So glad to see all of you here. Uh, for those of you I haven't met, uh, my name is Balaji Siva Subramanian. I'm one of the co-chair of the, of the conference. Um, I lead the developer tools at Red Hat. I have the other co-chair, uh, co <laughs> co which is Brian from AWS. We also had uh, Helen Grill from Spotify, who was uh, one of the co-chair, and she's not able to make it here today. But we want to definitely thank her for all her work in getting this conference together. And I also have uh, Avantika here from uh, Spotify. She's going to be she's going to be a co-host today, and you know you'll see more of her uh, soon. All right. And we also have Bowie. I'm not sure he's going to be around as well. He's our uh, backstage con mascot. You know, essentially uh, embodies the spirit of the backstage people. He's a great builder. I was watching YouTube uh, yesterday. A great builder. So they essentially like us. We are building all the great developer experiences. And he's essentially the spirit of the backstage uh, conference. All right. So before we get started, um, I want to thank uh, the sponsors. Uh, they are obviously very essential to the hosting this event. So the, uh, the the diamond sponsor being Red Hat and Spotify. Thank you, uh, bo both of the team. And then um, we also have more sponsors, the platinum sponsors. Again, thank you. Uh, we want to express our gratitude to sponsoring the event so that we can have this great event. All right. Let's get uh, do a quick. Uh, um, uh, update on what's happened in Backstage to, in the last year. Right. So, you know, a lot has happened. As I said, this is the fourth year, fourth year uh, anniversary was celebrated earlier this year. Uh, the, the amount of traction in terms of adoption by the end users has been great. So we had about 2,000 adopters last year at the same time. Now we have 3,000. That's an amazing growth. The other big part that I love about is the total contributions. Uh, do you know that C uh, Backstage is the number one uh, CNCF uh, project in terms of end user contributions. And that's really a great achievement given that there's so many projects out there in CNCF and it's a great R recognition book for the Backstage community that, that's you. And also, I'm excited by the number of plugins people are uh, you know, putting to the Backstage. So we had about 100 some plugins last year this time. Now we have a 200 plus plugin. This is a great way to extend Backstage and having a readily available plugin out of the box is going to help a lot of customers adopt Backstage as their IDB of choice. Uh, with that, I want to tr transition over to Avantika. So she's going to go through a lot more details about uh, what happened in Backstage in terms of project, technical updates. Hello, Mike Tessa. Oh, it works. Okay. Hey, I'm Tika. I probably haven't met a lot of you people before. Uh, it's my first backstage con, so I'm super excited. And I think since the last time uh, the, this event happened, there's so much that's, you know, there's so much to update about, but we picked about eight key updates that I, I can give you. Um, so we released a few times and are currently on version 1.32. Backend system 1.0 is here. It's stable, so you need to get migrating today. If you want to learn more, uh, my colleague Emma and I will be covering a little of it on our, in, in our talk today afternoon. Uh, CNCF also sponsored another round of security audit. Uh, the last one had a really positive impact, and there were much fewer findings like this time around, and it also keeps us improving, so we love that. We released a new auth system that authenticates all requests to Backstage by default. Uh, we kicked off a new special interest group focused on the Backstage framework. Uh, we've shipped some updates to the Scaffolder UI to help with onboarding for creating new templates. Uh, we replaced the old event service with a new highly scalable one that runs by default. Um, and with Backend System Stable 1.0, you now have the ability to mock out core services for testing. 
Uh, so a lot of great work, and our co-maintainers, Ben and Patrick, will be diving into some of these updates in the talk tomorrow. Uh, called the new building blocks of backstage at the main conference at 4.30 p.m. And you can find our experts at the KubeCon project uh, pavilion booth to discuss this and more stuff and whatever you want to talk about. Uh, so go find them there. Okay, so uh, the other update we wanted to give you is about the centralized community plugins uh, repo. So this repo was created in Q1 of 2024, and it's been absolutely massive. Uh, so a lot of the times, you know, you guys uh, who love Backstage and want to discover plugins, you don't have an easy way to do it. And uh, there were also a lot of pain points for, I guess, like pl plugin authors, because you have to depend on Backstage main maintainers to come and approve your PRs. And so a lot of you would want to, like, independently build it somewhere you, where you have all that control over what you're trying to build out, right? And so this is a way of reducing some of that fric uh, friction. Uh, so what we want to do is um, by using this specific re repository, if you're able to contribute to it, uh, it makes it easier for the entire community to be able to discover all the plugins that you're creating. And that's a much better, better way to go about it. And how do we reduce that friction? Essentially, Instead of having to get all of your PRs and all of your changes approved every single time by a maintainer, you just got to do it once in the beginning. And uh, you just, you know, get, create a PR to get your independent workspace. And once that's done and approved, you can just go about your business. So one's going to, you know, like there's no friction around it. Uh, so keep contributing to this uh, repo. We've already had 88 uh, people, uh, 88 different plugins already um, migrated to this one. And if you haven't done it yet, please go out there and do that so that the communities, uh, community can find your plugins. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, uh, hey, how do I get rid of this? <laughs> okay, there we go. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, so a, a few, and if you think you're an expert on Backstage, uh, there's a new certification that you can get uh, so that you can make it public. Uh, so you can follow this link and go and get certified by giving the Backstage Association uh, Associate Certification Test. Just follow that link if you want to learn more. Um, and to keep things going smoothly here and to make this experience unforgettable for everybody, uh, let's make sure we are kind, we are supportive of each other. And so go, you know, like scan the QR code, take a look at the code of conduct uh, so that we all have a great experience here today. And if you're in need of captioning or translation, please scan this as well um, so that you can get worldly on your personal device. Um, captioning and translation will be uh, available through it. And finally, uh, if you're looking for refreshments and meals that are not going to be provided in this room, um, you're going to have to take a note of that. Salt Palace Hall C Level 1. And there's also tea, coffee, other beverages served outside of this room. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, back to you. Thank you, Antika. I uh, appreciate that. And, uh, you know, we are ready to go. So let's get, get started. Uh, let's get the first speakers on stage. Thank you, and wel welcome all to the Backstage Con. We have an awesome uh, event planned for you. Hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> 